Night Industries 2000 kit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That car of the future from the 80s. That 80s TV series Night Rider. <laughs> I grew up with Night Rider. I mean, I was born in the 70s. Watched uh, Night Rider when it was airing. I don't. I don't think I missed an episode of it. Definitely watched them again later on in reruns type of thing. But I remember them as they were coming out. That Airwolf, great shows. Actually got an opportunity to meet and talk to Kit. And I'm talking the real deal from the series. Stay tuned, I'll tell you that little story and what I asked Kit and, and his answers. Well, two questions. So stay tuned for that. But first, I want to give a quick shout out to a freaking awesome YouTube channel that only has like 3,000 subs. To me, it should be like way up there by now. Um, this gentleman's name is Chris Blasius. Now, his YouTube channel is actually called Night Rider. Yeah, Night Rider. Why? He built probably the most phenomenal kit replica vehicle that I've ever seen, at least in video. I've seen the real deal in life. So from what I've seen, and go check out his channel for yourself. He shows build vids, um, finished product. I mean, he's this thing even has voice recognition, right? So he can ask Kit questions, and Kit will respond in real time. Like, it's, it's that cool. Go check him out. I'll put a link to his channel down below. Whoosh! <laughs> he also has Instagram, Facebook. I'll, I'll put those down there as well. If you like what you see, subscribe over there. Let him know the real Cobra Burnout sent you. Trust me. Freaking awesome. Man, Like a, that's like a dream right there. He put a lot of blood, sweat, tears, did a lot of the work himself from what I've seen in vids. And, uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of his savings account into it as well. So go check him out, please. All right. Now, time for the... Time for the story. Oh yeah. So I must have been nine years old, give or take a year. Trip to California, you know, did the Disneyland thing, got to go to Universal Studios, and there Kit was. On display, you could go up and sit inside Kit and ask him questions. Kind of depend on, you know, how the time you got sitting there was depending on how much the crowd was around him and stuff like that. But anyway, I remember the display was like weird. It was like a kind of a water area. There was like a platform. It was a weird display. But I was just enthralled. You know, Kit. I'm going to get to talk to Kit. Get up there. Get to sit in him. I mean, just overwhelmed. Like all the, the lights and stuff coming on. And in hindsight, just seeing what I've seen on... Uh, Chris's Knight Rider channel, what he has done. <sighs> Hollywood would, if they rebooted the series, they would just be dumb not to contact him and be like, beg him to use his car or pay him to use his car for the hero shots. His stuff is functional. Back to my Knight Rider experience. So, sitting in Kit, ask him a couple questions, me and my brother there, and first question we asked was, what type of fuel do you use? Now the voice, it was not William Daniels. I could even tell that as like a nine-year-old, right? It wasn't William Daniels. It was somebody like a voice actor. Looking back on it now, it's probably a voice actor. It was pretty accurate, but for me, it was this was still the real deal type of thing. It was close enough for me at the time, and I just bought into it, right? So anyway, what type of fuel do you do you use, Kit? His answer was a really technical answer that wanted to be in some type of aircraft, aviation, jet fuel type of thing. Next question. Where's car? <laughs> How many of you remember car? The that's the original prototype that was built before Kit. K-A-R-R. Knight Automated Roving Robot is what it stood for. He was a little evil, so they shut him down. He got reactivated by accident in the series. Like someone stole him out of the warehouse or whatever and you know he wreaked havoc for a few more episodes on anyway I asked him where car was I remember like the big battle and stuff like that but Kit said cars in a junkyard in a thousand pieces and I hope he stays that way and I said why Kit's response was perfect because he's a brute <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and 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 the voice box was was doing its thing. It was freaking awesome, you know. And then we got, you know, I was trying to look at all the buttons, and everything, and then we got shuffled out of there so other people could come in. So there's my night Rider story. I wish they still had that display up. Um, for now, <laughs> there's no way I can build my own kit. I ain't got that kind of cash or skills, but. So this is my kit, <laughs> 99 cent Hot Wheel, close as I'll get. These Hot Wheels are actually pretty cool for 99 cents. Anyway, go check out uh, Chris's channel, Night Rider channel. Let him know the real Coke Burnout sent you. Boom.